everyone, it's Lacey Vidal here, your instructor for Introduction to Web Design. Now for our first module, we're going to start covering the web design process. Now the first step in the web design process is always, always research and planning. You want to think about the sort of content you want to have on your website, plan out the sort of images you would need, any body copy, the amount of pages you'll have. So you really want to start thinking about that ahead of time. If you're designing your website to be more consumer-based, you want to do some research on your competitors and see if there's any elements or any functionality that you'd like to implement on your site that you hadn't even thought of before, maybe just by looking at a competitor site. So research and planning is always the first step, one of the most important steps. And after you start figuring out sort of, okay, this is what I need on my website, this is what I want to do, the next step is actually step number two, which is wireframing. Now, wireframing is the process of doing a really simplistic 2D representation of what the site will look like. So you're actually going to start clicking and dragging across your screen with wireframe CC in the next step. Um, some sections for images and text so you can start laying out the different components of your website. It's pretty cool. Alright, now step three is actually the design phase. So this is where you start figuring out your colors, your fonts, your layouts. And sometimes people like to view entire user interface designs before developing, where they can do this in either Adobe Photoshop or Sketch or any sort of other user interface design program to get the exact look of their website. So all of the images, the just position for them, the font sizes down to specific pixels of every single section. So design is really important for the visual or the look and feel of your website. Now, once you've done your research, your planning, your wireframing, and your design, the next step is usually development. So it's time to actually start building, and that's what we're going to learn how to do in this course. So we're actually going to learn how to do some HTML and CSS code to develop out the designs that you would like to see in your website. Now once development is done and your website is built out, that is not the last step. The last step is always testing. You always want to test your websites to make sure they work and they function. Test out your links, test out the functionality. Always go back in and make sure that you didn't misspell anything in your body copy, that you don't have any broken images that aren't showing. So testing is always very, very important. Now in a nutshell, it's essentially what the web design process is. So again, research and planning, wireframing, design, development, and testing. And from there, it's an ongoing process. If you test something and it doesn't work, you go back to step one and you go through the same process over until you finish and get your final product. All right, so now that we know a little bit more about the web design process, the next step is actually going to head into wireframing. So we'll see you guys in the next video.